The latest sci-fi sensation on Netflix, Atlas is film art where AI meets, well, a mess. The film follows the journey of Atlas Shepard, a data analyst turned savior of humanity, or at least that's what they want you to believe. Jennifer Lopez as Atlas Shepard delivers a masterclass in creating a character that the audience does never cares for. It is definitely not easy to achieve. Throughout the film, she is completely disinterested and disconnected from what's happening. There's no passion, no intensity, no nothing. If you could swap her out with a robot, the film may actually improve. I'm sorry, but seeing her like this is depressing. Where is the magnetic movie star, the last of the true superstars who made Hustlers a success? She sucks all the energy and excitement out of what could have been a fun B-movie thrill ride. I mean, give her an Oscar for that. Let's go, bitch, line read. The problem isn't just the performance. It's that Atlas Shepard is chained by the script to have no real entry point for the audience. She's distant, unrelatable, and spends most of the movie in isolation, both emotionally and physically. Her motivations are unclear, and her actions often feel disconnected from any real human experience. The script is a masterclass in how to squander good ideas, with dialogue that feels like it was written by a malfunctioning AI and a plot that drags like a Windows 95 loading screen. Atlas leaves much to be desired. The only thing innovative here is how quickly it becomes boring. Visually, Atlas resembles a video game cut scene from the early 2000s, and not the good kind. The direction by Brad Payton feels as uninspired as the script, with action sequences that are more sleep-inducing than thrilling. Even the explosions look tired. It's like they gave up halfway through post-production. Atlas was supposed to be Jennifer Lopez's grand return to sci-fi. Instead, it's a lesson in how not to make a movie. It is a vanity project gone terribly wrong, a movie that spends more time on J-Lo's star power than on developing a compelling story. Oh, and those pants she wore, they're the only thing that fit perfectly into this disjointed mess. In the end, I am left with a few questions. One, when is this movie taking place? Humanity is already able to travel to other galaxies and be back to Earth in a matter of minutes, and we get no explanation for that. Two, what exactly does the AI in this film do, other than give good old computer programs a personality? Three, the film's take on AI. Atlas thinks AI bad, everyone else thinks AI good. Wow, what profound insight. Did the writers put their eight-year-olds in charge of exploring these heady themes? Four, why no backup you make, Mr. Villain AI? Five, also, was Simu Liu asked to phone it in to look more AI, less human? The wooden acting was an active choice, was it not? Also, if you are not an AI, then like, share, high five, subscribe, let our channel thrive.